Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we have Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 10. And again, it's from my Bible study. Uh, it says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other one up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. So just remember, have compassion, you know, for the person that's fallen down. Um, so this week, it has been one of those weeks. I haven't done a lot of crafting. Um, if you followed us very long, you know that when I stress, I just, the, and I can't think, can't do. So a lot of times I don't do, um, I just say that I've lost my mojo and I have. So let's get into what I have been doing. Um, because I needed something super mindless, something I didn't have to think about, um, I decided to pick up something that I had been working on years and years ago, and it sat for a long time. Um, and it is this Piclot truck. Um, yeah, it's coming along. I haven't done a whole lot on it. I got about that much done on it, which is only like four or five rows, but it's kind of wide so um and i've also gotten this uh the trees i'm gonna do the tree section and the reason that i've done it this way is that <laughs> i found out it wasn't as mindless as i thought so i misread the key and got some colors mixed up and i had to actually take some out they were supposed to be light gray and i did them hunting yellow but on the little key i have to have my contacts in to be able to see because these are just little readers and my contacts actually make my eyes focus the way they're supposed to and so on the key my glasses make them look kind of similar and i used the wrong color and i had to go back and rip them out and yeah so not as mindless as i thought so what i have done is separated this and this is mindless it's all the same color and so last night i sat here and did uh this part i put in all of the others and then I just have the dark green to do so you know tonight I can sit there and just do the dark green and fill that in and then this side over here is also trees right here and so I will frame it off and get it done so that you can see the little frame of what fills in with the colors so and then after that I just have the deer to do and that one's going to take a little bit more effort than the solid colors you know when i first started it i had to do all the same blue and all that for the sky so you know it gives me something mindless to do but i have to set it up properly or i make mistakes imagine that so um i've been working on that and then i did i attempted to do the uh hankies for rj's wedding and i've decided i'm going to do the initials b m and g bride mom and grandma and give them away so i've got to find some hunter green embroidery thread went to hobby lobby and they didn't have any so i didn't get down to joann's um walmart really doesn't have a whole lot of embroidery thread there isn't a craft store other than you know hobby lobby here if i want to go and go to michael's it's kind of complicated to get to so yeah i haven't been there to look um i have to go down into tulsa to look and so actually i'm waiting for i'm hoping hobby lobby restocks so i can just get it there but anyway so i have that in mind and i do have them pressed and ready to go i just don't have the thread so um this week has just been kind of um what i call life stressors so first let me just put out that it, I'm pretty much here at the house a lot by myself. Um, roommate is uh, working 56 hours. So working four tens to eight. Yeah, so they're on overtime and it's been, it's been interesting. Roommate gets gripey when, you know, they're tired. <laughs> so let's just say that. Anyway. Um, but I have been trying to keep up with more with this stuff here at the house because 
what roommate and I used to tackle on our own. I mean, we're older, and so roommate knows how to drive the zero turn uh, lawnmower. I do not, so I push mode. And because I was here and roommate was at work, I've been just push mowing the yard. The rest of it has kind of gotten long, and I need to get out there and at least get my stand up. It I haven't put a battery in it because I hadn't been using it because roommate and I had kind of gotten into this rhythm. We had our own little way of doing things, and I didn't need it. Now I need to get that push mower, uh, that big. I have my big walk behind, um, and I need to get that going. But it just needs a battery. So anyway, I need to do that, but I haven't. Um, we've had some trees go down at the pond. Um, we've had some pretty bad storms and it has just wreaked havoc. Um, just trees down by the pond, nothing around the house or anything like that. Uh, as a matter of fact, Saturday night, RJ was at a rodeo in Sulphur, Oklahoma. And if you know anything about the geography, I guess, or um, anything about Oklahoma, you'll know that sulfur is just south of, I mean, he was at Okima, and it was just south of sulfur, and he, uh, it goes Okima, sulfur, Henrietta, okay, and he was in Okima, the warnings went off, and bless my heart, I love my son, okay, and I love his tender heart, but sometimes he makes it rough on this old mama's heart. Um, I don't think I'd prayed that hard in a long, long time. So he was in Okima, the alarm, the sirens went off, and all he could think about was his horses, and he said he got in the truck. They said, you know, you need to get in the storm shelter. You know, we're shutting the doors. Are you in or out? And he said all he could think was his horses are in a rolling tin can. And he says, I'm out. And he said he got in his truck and he just started driving. I called him and I said, where are you at? And he says, I'm trying to get these horses out of here. And so he at one point did 85 miles an hour, he said. Um, I was talking to him on the phone, telling him what they said. And he was dodging storms as he went up. Um, just headed north towards the house, and uh, he outran the storm. He got to Henrietta as it hit sulfur, um, which, you know, it's just miles up there. It's not a huge distance, okay? So um, he said he could look in his rearview mirror and see the storm. He said it looked horrible. He didn't, I don't think he saw the actual tornado cross he was seeing the storm and he said it looked really bad. And so he outran it and me on the phone and, you know, telling him the radar and of course the weather coverage was on the news. So I was telling him, okay, it's here, it's here. And they're doing the storm trackers and, and, um, yeah, definitely hard on a praying mama's heart. That's all I can say. Um, but he did outrun it and we woke up the next morning to see all the damage that, was done down in that area and it just it broke my heart um i'm glad he didn't stay there but the other part of me wanted him to stay in the shelter and stay there stay safe but yeah it, it's so he it stresses me out we've got a tree down that's in the pond um that roommate and i'll have to do together because there's just no way we can do it by ourselves um we're gonna have to Chain, put a chain around it and pull it out and then cut it up and next year's firewood <laughs> so yeah but just lots of little stressor thing going on my car is still acting up i had it in the shop first of the month i put quite a bit of money into it it still needs tires and it's now making a funny noise since i had it in for the air conditioning and because the belt for the air conditioning goes all around all the other pulleys one of the pulleys is acting up. We can't figure out which one. I've taken it back to the mechanic and it won't do it for him. And so I tried videotaping when it was doing it, but I can't hold up the hood and videotape. And it never does it when I am 
here at the house. By the time I get to the house, it is quit doing it. It did it like on the way back to work. So I jump in my car, start it up to um, drive back home. And of course it's not doing it. So yeah, they have checked everything they can find. You know, it, it is what it is, but it's just all those little things, you know, just how much money I put into the car. The car isn't working right. I still have to go and get tires. Um, the fact that it won't do it when nobody else is around, that's nerve wracking. Um, the storms, uh, this weekend coming up starting Wednesday, this is Tuesday and starting Wednesday, we're supposed to have more storms roll in and yeah, it's just, it's April, May in Oklahoma. And when I get stressed, I don't craft a whole lot. So there's nothing new I want to start, nothing, you know, and I don't want to work on the things that I've got started. Um, so I've been trying to figure out uh, what theme I'm going to do for Christmas this year. I did um, quilts and that for last year and beddings for both the kids. And then I did toys. Last year, I, I, you know, did a childhood type thing. So this year I am definitely going to keep that buying them toys kind of things. Cause they're games too. So I bought them electronic games, uh, the old fashioned kind, you know, I found those pretty reasonable. And so this year I think I'm going to go with board games and see, you know, what I can come up with. Um, I found one, it's called Shout It Out, and you put this thing in your mouth, and you have to convey a message, and yeah, so uh, I'm going to definitely get that one, um, and then I don't know from there on out. Uh, I, I know I'm going to do a game, but I don't know what else I'm going to do. Um, We've gotten to that age where we really, it's an adult Christmas. You, you get them clothes and stuff. So anyway, don't know where that's going. Been thinking on it because this is April. And as you know, if you're a crafter, you need to start, you know, I'm looking at the first part of May. I've got a wedding in November and then I've got Christmas in December. So I need to have it all lined out before I even get to the wedding. Uh, other than that, I really just don't have a whole lot going on. Mm. Uh, like I said, roommates constantly working. I've been doing all the stuff around the house. Normally, you know, roommate, I tackle everything together, but I've been doing all the laundry. I've been doing all the cleaning. I've been doing all the cooking, dishes, you name it. Um, just cause roommate is never here, you know? So, but anyway, it's just been a long week and I will get it back together, you know, get my crafting sense back. I have things I need to finish up. I just don't want to work on them. So, uh, yeah, but I will get there. I will get there. You know, we all have those off times and it's one of those times. So I'm hoping that you guys have an amazing week. That is all I have for the update. Just blah. <laughs> so <laughs> it is what it is. But I mean, this thing, I'm going to get this done. So when I get it done, you guys will see, you know, but I'll update you because it's kind of slow going. I like the way it's turning out. So yeah. And it will be fine. It's big enough that it will go. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to give it to RJ for, you know, just to have a little foot rug to put by his bed. That way when he gets out, he doesn't have to step on the cold floor. But anyway, all right, I'm off of here. I got to go get ready for work, which I don't want to do. I will talk to y'all later and I'll see if I can find those pictures of that tree and maybe, you know, pop them in or something. But yeah, and I don't know. It, it just is. It is what it is. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. Okay. So have a good one and thanks for watching. Bye.